Hello. Perhaps you remember back in Unit 1, one of the principles of journalism that we looked at was completeness. This means that a journalist needs to tell the whole story by speaking to as many sources as possible. In this video, we will look at reporting more accurately by gathering multiple perspectives and seeing if they agree. Multiple perspectives means more than one point of view on the same thing. When a journalist is writing a story, the more perspectives they can get, the better. We will then look at how one source can confirm the story of another. Let's think about the facts of a story. Imagine that there is a fire in a building. The firefighters are called and they put out the fire. Nobody's hurt, but afterwards everybody wants to know who or what caused the fire. Now, let's imagine that a journalist wants to write a story about the cause of the fire. She decides that the landlord, the person who owns the building, would be a good source. She interviews him and he says, the fire started in the apartment at the top of the building. It was probably the tenant smoking. I told him not to smoke in the apartment many times. Now, if the journalist decided to stop here and only interview the landlord, the story that she writes would say that the tenant, the person who rents the apartment from the landlord, is responsible for the fire. But this would not be telling the complete story. And so the journalist would not be reporting the story accurately. The journalist needs to talk to other sources. They need to get multiple perspectives. So the journalist talks to the tenant. The tenant says, the fire started at the bottom of the building, in the basement. The heater down there is very old and dangerous. I keep asking the landlord to replace it, but he refuses. Now, if the journalist decided to stop here, she has two different sources who say completely opposite things. This is better than just interviewing the landlord, but not much, because the readers don't know who is telling the truth. She needs to try and confirm one of the stories by interviewing more sources. If the person's version of the story agrees with another person's, then we call this confirmation. Confirmation means checking for truth and accuracy. So, the journalist interviews the fire expert who looked at the building after the fire was put out. This expert says, the fire clearly started in the bottom of the building. It was probably caused by an old heater exploding and then spread until the whole building was burned down. The fire expert confirms the story of the tenant. So the journalist knows that he is probably telling the truth. However, to make sure, the journalist knocks on the doors of all the neighbours to try and find an eyewitness. Luckily, one neighbour saw the fire start and even has a video of the fire on his phone. The journalist can clearly see that the fire begins in the basement. This neighbour is a citizen journalist, an ordinary person helping to accurately report the news. So now, because she has gathered multiple perspectives, the journalist knows that she is reporting the story accurately. The story she writes will be the truth. In this video, we looked at reporting a story accurately. We learned that the more perspectives a journalist can get, the more different types of sources they can interview, the better. If they can find one source 
who confirms the story of another, they are more likely to find out and therefore write the truth.